Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey. This is a no-age statement, 45% on the ABV. Now, coffee grain, it's not coffee grain, like what we know as coffee. Coffee is a type of still they use to create this, and it's a grain whiskey. So, they kind of put some words together there. Coffee is spelled a little differently than what we know it as. However, uh, this bottle was gifted to me by my lovely wife for my birthday, and it was an interesting bottle. This was my first Nika, actually, um, which opened up a lot of doors to other Nikas for me, and I've got a couple others that I'll link up above and down below you can check out. Uh, they're single malt for their Miyagikyu and Yochi blends, uh, which are fantastic bottles. Uh, but they have a Nika coffee grain and a Nika malt as well and again i love nika's bottles i love these very simplistic bottle designs and they're so far besides the nika from the barrel these are all very similar styled except for the like big suits of armor on them and stuff i really wish i could get one of those they have these big suits of samurai armor on them and they look gorgeous now nika and suntory are two big japanese distilleries and they do some amazing things in both fields. Um, I'm probably nowadays leaning more in the Nika field as a fan versus Suntory, but it balances depending on when you ask me. Enough of this though, let's get into the to the uh, spirit itself. We're gonna be trying this two different ways. First way, gonna go neat, no water, no ice. Second way, we'll add a little bit of water, see what changes up. Beautiful color. Look at that already. The darker glass that they use on these kind of throws you off because you really don't know how dark it is. Beautiful light color, though. Hey, like, very, very light. Let's go for notes. Oh. A little bit of ABV on the nose. You do get that little bit of sharpness from the ABV. But beautiful, beautiful vanilla. A little bit of oak in there. Almost a sweetness, like a sugary sweetness. I'm getting a light cream soda note. Just faintly, that sugary cream soda note, like if you've had cream soda. Ugh. Very light though. You've got a beautiful fruit on the nose. Almost banana-like? Kind of, it's almost got a, a, a it's like the, the thought process of what banana does. Mm. Let's go for taste, I'm already salivating. That grain note comes through. A little bit of ABV on the taste. Beautiful, beautiful vanilla. Almost like a, an oaty quality to it. Maybe it's just got a grain note to it. Beautiful vanilla. That fruit sweetness really doesn't come through on the taste though. Nice, pleasant oak in there. It's not dominating, though. That oak note is playing around with that sweetness, that vanilla sweetness. Nice, simple finish. Not much is changing. Left a little dry with that little bit of oak. That vanilla's hanging, hanging around, that vanilla and a little bit of sweetness as well. But yeah, nice and simple. It's kind of done now. It's just kind of lingered off. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. Go for a third one just to make sure nothing else changes. A third one, I'm getting a sweetness factor of that cream. I always call it like a cream soda note. Coming up a little, little bit to the forefront now. 
but nice oak note, a little bit of grain note in there. It's really got some decent, well-rounded flavors. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's uh, add a little bit of water, see what changes up here. And again, I just love how simple their bottling is, how simple their label is. It just screams simplicity, and that's all part of Nika. It just feels like they just love the craft to it. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay, Let's see what changes up here. Ooh. ABV's basically gone away. Left with just a sweet, fruity note. Almost, almost apple, I don't wanna say apple. It's a different kind of fruit, just I'm gonna say orchard. It's almost got just a nice, simple orchard note to it. Still get that, that cream soda sweetness in there. But besides that, very simple. Let's go for the taste. Ooh. ABV definitely shows a little bit more on the taste. It's not, I mean, I winced a little bit, but it's there. Sugary oak is just dominating. That fruit note that I was getting before is non-existent. It's like almost like they took i just took a piece of wood and lathered some some like sugar on there it took a big bite of it oak and sugar yeah i mean that's all i'm getting is just a a, a punch of vanilla sugar and a, a pretty strong oak note not bad. I mean, it's it's well rounded still in its flavor profile. I feel like neat's the better way to go on this one. It's always that it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. But I feel like neat is the better option on that one. But still not bad. It goes a little more, just a couple notes in there, keeps it simple. Okay, let's uh, talk about market value because market price is market price. I picked this up. I looked online after she bought it. Um, it was about $69, so $70. Nowadays, it's going for $70 plus in most locations. I've seen it as low as $65 online. Uh, uh, Flaviar has it for $88 right now. I think that's a little high. And the reason I think that's a little high is because for a little bit more, depending on where you shop around, you can get the... Yochi or Miyagikyu, both of those, in my opinion, blow this out of the water. Uh, just because of their flavor profiles. it's uh, They're amazing. Again, you all check out the reviews on those because I love them. Uh, I don't think it's bad. If, if it was, I even feel like even at $70 might be a little bit steep. If it was, was like $60, I, I don't think that'd be a bad deal. At $70, you are buying it for the the name and the process because again nika still uses coal fire not a cheap process to do that on and i'll just put in perspective i bought a bottle of nika from the barrel for 70 dollars. so i and again market does change a bit if you can find this for 60 bucks or less i give it a thumbs up if you're looking at 70 dollars or more or more than 70 dollars, I, I don't know if i can recommend that one too strongly Right at 70 bucks, okay. I think it's a good one to try, but don't expect amazing notes. If you are looking for something complex and and very unique, check out the other two, the Mi Gikyu and Yochi, because I find like those are dominatingly better. So yeah, there you have it. Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see me do a specific spirit, also let me know down in the comment section below because I'm always on the hunt for something new and fun 
tasty, different, if it fits something like that, I might be interested. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.